Hello, my name is Kelly Ann Grant, and in my tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create your own emoticon. You will first create a new file, name this file emoticon. You will stick it over with 15 inches and height 10 inches with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. You will start your creation by selecting the elliptical marquee tool or by simply pressing M on the keyboard. We will hold mouse and drag release when we are finished. Put the mouse in the middle of the inside the selection and allows you to move the selection in any position or direction you want it to go. We put this layer, put this in a new layer, name this layer face. I'll be giving you color codes for each color that I'll be using in this tutorial, and I'll be setting the foreground color to FFD 606. Okay using our paint bucket to fill the layer and selecting the electrical marquee tool again this allows you to edit the selection only right click and stroke choose change, change this color to black okay and I'll be using 5 pixels in my width and deselect by Clicking Ctrl D and you see your beautiful face already, outline of our face. Now we will I'll be using the elliptical marquee tool once again to create my eyes, hold and jog, release, new layer, eyes, name this layer eye. Set our foreground color to white. Which is this includes six F as in type in F six times paint bucket fill. You could also add a stroke to this selection. Right click stroke. Cut it color to black. Pixels set. Say two. Okay. Deselect. Go by the layer tab. You will see the different layers. To make the eye more interesting, I'll be using the elliptical marquee tool again. Release, right click new layer, I1, set our foreground color to 050 E3, okay, paint bucket, release, I'm um, sorry, deselect. Control D and a marquee tool again to get a small black dot in the middle of the eye. Right, new layer. Sorry, right click again. Sorry, jug. New layer. Right click. New layer. I two. Okay. Set foreground color to black. Paint bucket. Deselect. As you can see, we have our eyes so far. Now, great thing about having our images in a 
in its own layer <coughs> as it allow you to edit the selection edit the layers at any time possible so starting with the eye layer I will double click and a layer style dialog layer style window comes up which allows you to add different effects to this layer and I'll be using gradient tool overlay gradient overlay sorry as you can see it's the fall colors are black and white and you can be you'll be able to set your color by selecting the first color stop and setting our color to 9 f d9 f f okay and i was sticking with the right using the right for the second color stop as you can see a preview on the actual object changing our style to radial and I, as you can see one of the colors are in the center but i would like the white to be there so i click reverse and change the angle to about 48 degrees okay we'll be doing the same with i1 double click on layer select our gradient overlay change this color to color is too zero zero eight eight cc setting our first color and the second color will be zero zero three one six e okay and you have two colors blue okay change our style to radial and okay for the arm um, the layer i2 i'll be editing this layer so i will select the elliptical marquee tool again Control T to resize or do any transformation as you desire to get an evenly effect. You will select Cont um, Shift Alt and go to any point and the rectangle and enter as we are finished and in order to get the second eye i'll be linking all three layers so hold shift and click on the last layer and each every layer in between those points will be also highlighted right click link layers right click again and duplicate layers okay and using our move tool we'll be dragging the second eye into its position as you can see the eye is, the eye is not or it should be so this selection also allows you to rotate the object It is not yet in a suitable position so we will unlink the layers and edit each layer on its own so select ctrl t could also use the arrow key arrow keys to get this in the direction that we want it to go down arrow i selecting i2 copy to do the same ctrl t 
and use your arrow key enter the rubber eyes now we're going to do in the, the mouth using our pen tool we will begin by clicking at a certain point and click on another point which allows us to connect with both points as you will see a line and as you get this curve we will drag the mouse up until we get a suitable curve release the mouse and to get rid of this extended point we will select control T control alt sorry shift alt I will say shift alt excuse me there extended line is gone click on this second point again and take our take our pen tool to the original point where we see a small circle at the end and hold mouse again and drag release and there you see we have our mouse as you can see I have put this mouse on the same layer where the second eye where I two copy was as you can see I've made a mistake which I should have put this layer mm. and it's put this selection put this object in its own layer so I will go over to the history tab and click until I've reached the point where I have started and go to the layer tab and select new layer and I will do this select do this action all over again shift all to get rid of the extended line original point and check release now this selection you will be able